The top story here at five, it's called Operation Candyman, a major crackdown led by state police to try to get illegal prescription drugs off the streets. And part of it was this raid this morning at a health clinic on Detroit's west side. Sean Light was there today as it went down. Well, the more we dig on this, the more we find out all of this happening right here on busy eight mile road on the west side, all focused on this little building here called Lighthouse Medical Center MSP going in today to raid it. The accusations that thousands of prescriptions for high powered painkillers were being given out here each and every day. We're also told get this. This place was so well known in this neighborhood that when investigators went in to shut it down today, people in the neighborhood actually cheered when they went inside. This is what's killing Michiganders is people doing exactly what they're doing right out here, right out here, right out in the open every day. Michigan State Police shutting down a dangerous pill mill. The doctor who once helped patients here is long gone, sliding in two nurse practitioners, a security guard to handle cash. This was an all cash operation and hundreds of people brought in many bust to this eight mile road location. Those nurse practitioners, MSP says writing thousands of prescriptions for highly addictive opiates, Oxycontin and Oxycodone. No medical exam, no questions asked. Tens of thousands of illegal prescription drugs that are out on the streets here in, uh, in Michigan. They were basically, everybody knew, I mean, as soon as we hit this door, uh, there were citizens coming out of the neighborhood giving the thumbs up and nice job. So everybody knew that this establishment was doing what it was doing. Back here live. We have a lot of questions about this particular mill and pharmaceutical companies uh, providing the pills to these prescriptions being written by two nurse practitioners without the signature with of, of our doctor's care and also pharmacies filling these prescriptions. When did red flags go up? We're told by MSP that the DEA has been called in to start investigating that part. Let's talk about the suspects taken into custody today. However, there are five of them, one from West Bloomfield, one from Grand Blanc. Van Buren Township, Detroit, and Taylor. And the big picture here is that mill has been shut down. Back to you. And it, Sean, this is just the beginning of this investigation, right? It's, it sounds like it's a lot more to come. If you think about it, we were there and people were going inside to get the prescriptions to go get to the, go to the pharmacy and get the pills. And then police believe likely turn around and start selling them right back on the street. So how many if there are there overdoses related to this? Are there any yeah. gun crimes or crimes related yeah. to this? It could the ripple effect could be endless here. And MSP says they're digging into all of it. So many layers. OK, Sean, we'll continue to follow it. Thank you.